What is the tragic reason that the only way to kill Kartho Nasi is by romancing him first? I wish, I wish there could have been another way. Kill him, master. Oh! If there is one defining trait that Karth is remembered for by fans, it's undoubtedly his chronic trust issues. I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go, 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 go. I don't want to talk. I don't want to, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it right now. Don't, 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 don't even start with that. I don't feel sorry for myself. I feel angry. First, he wants to talk, and then he doesn't want to talk. It's all too much. Oh, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Once the player discovers the reason behind Karth's trust issues, that he was betrayed by his old mentor Saul Karath, leading to him losing his family, everything becomes much clearer. It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but the, they didn't come in time. I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. However, in a cruel twist of fate, the only way to kill Karth is a dark side playthrough in which a female character must A, whittle down his defenses and gain his trust through multiple dialogues in their journey together, then B, seduce Karth into falling in love with her. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died, but it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. All I can think of now is the promise that I made to protect you from what's going to come. It's given me a reason to look past simple revenge. You have a darkness inside you that must be Revan. But there's more to you as well. I see it. I know it's there. That's why I can't hate you. Why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. You have this huge destiny waiting for you, and I just fear that if you're alone, it could swallow you whole. I mean, is there room in there for me? Will you let me help you? Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. I want you to make the right choice. I want to give you a reason to. You gave me a future. I want to give you a future too, with me. I think I could love you if you give me the chance. This action fundamentally changes Revan's second fall, as after returning with Bastila, after embracing the dark side atop the Rakatan temple, Karth, somewhat uncharacteristically, will abandon his loyal light side companion, Mission Veo, to her fate. Run for admission, go, go! Which is supremely ironic, considering one of his first lines in the Tara's apartments is, you don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. I guess he meant to say, I never abandoned anyone but mission. Furthermore, it's only if the player is a female and completed their romance with Calf is this scene fully unlocked, as he says. Vasily, you're alive. I was worried about you. For a minute there, I, w I was sure that we'd never see you again once Malik got his... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where's Jolie Bindo? Was he okay? W what happened inside that temple? The Jedi Council has failed, Calf. Darth Revan has been reborn. Together, we will destroy Malak and seize control of his fleet, then use it to crush the Republic. Jolie would not swear loyalty to the new ruler of the Sith. He died for his foolishness. Now swear loyalty to Darth Revan or face your own death. No, you can't mean that. This, this isn't you. You're not Revan. I know it. You've got to resist it. This isn't you talking. We, we can help you. We can find a way to... My, my. I think the sad fool may actually be in love with you, Revan. I see now it was a mistake to let you go into that temple. And I, of all people, should have seen this coming. First saw Kareth, and now you. I mean, I should be an expert on betrayal by now. No, but nothing you can say or do can make me betray the Republic. I won't join you, and I won't just stand aside and let you become ruler of the Sith again, Revan. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find a way to save you, I swear. I won't give up on you, no matter what. Run for admission! Go, go! Let him go. We have more important things to worry about. 
We have to get to the Starforge and kill Malak. Then we can turn our attention to the Republic. So Karth, stricken with grief over his second betrayal, still clings to his sole purpose to redeem Revan through the power of love. But how? Well, ironically, this is the only path to Karth's demise. Well done, Lord Revan. You were as ruthless as Malak ever was. Quickly now, we have to get to the Starforge and destroy the Usurper. As after Revan has slain Malak aboard the Starforge, she will then exit the super weapon, only to find Karth is erroneously lingering around, awaiting her arrival as he pleads. So you killed Darth Malak. Somehow I, I always knew you would. I had to come. I said I'd find a way to save you from yourself, and I will. The elevator then opens to reveal Bastille. Karth, I knew I sensed your presence. I should have known you would find a way to meddle in this one last time. Don't interfere, Bastila. This is between me and Revan. You're a fool. Revan has already made her choice, and there is no turning back. Don't listen to him, Master. Let me strike him down. Seize your victory. Cruelly, we have two options. One, to have Bastila execute Karth. Oh! Two, we can execute Karth ourselves, pausing with a sad recognition that Onasi could not let go of his need to save Revan and redeem himself as he could not save his family, or in the end, even himself. I wish, I wish there could have been another way. Kill him, master. Oh! The fool is dead. Now there's nothing in the way of your victory. Leaving no one to stand in the way of a female Revan, casting Karth's love aside and shedding the last remnants of our humanity in favour of assuming the role of Dark Lord once more. Malak is dead! All hail the return of Darth Revan, the true Lord of the Sith! All hail Lord Revan! All hail Lord Revan! All hail Lord Revan! The Sith bow before you. You have reclaimed your rightful throne. The Jedi Order is in tatters. It is only a matter of time until your Sith minions wipe them from the face of the galaxy. The Republic fleet is decimated. The core worlds are defenseless against us. 